is breaking news now that we've been following for you all morning long. It's out of Sterling Heights and it is a tragedy. That is where police say that an innocent woman was killed by a driver trying to get away from officers in a stolen car. Nick Monticelli is live at Van Dyke in 15 mile where this violent crash occurred. Nick. Rhonda, good morning. New information coming in now. We've learned that the female in this is a 20 year old who was killed. It all happened here at the intersection of 50 Mile Road and Van Dyke. You can see the light pole that is knocked down during this, but that doesn't really make it look as bad as it really was. So take a look at this video. All this started at about 1130 last night near 30 Mile Road and Van Dyke in Romeo, where we're told that multiple vehicles were stolen from a car dealership up there. So shortly after that, there was a chase with the Macomb County Sheriff's Department, and we're told that that department terminated their pursuits. And then at some point, and we're still trying to iron out the details on this, the crash happened here at 15 Mile Road in Van Dyke. We don't know if there was another pursuit going on or the accident just happened. And then the Sterling Heights Police Department came and responded to that. But either way, the crash happened involving two additional vehicles. So. The suspect who we believe was in this red Grand Cherokee, we think that is the stolen vehicle, crashed into the white car, killing that 20 year old female. There's a third vehicle involved as well. We do not know the injuries of the person in that, if they're okay or if they got hurt severely. We do know that the suspect is going to be okay though. The suspect was uh, injured, not too bad, and now is in police custody. So coming back out here live, a lot of moving parts, you can still uh, see a little bit of this, but the road obviously is reopened again. What's remaining still is how the chase ended and then ended up over here, and also the additional suspects, because again, multiple vehicles were stolen from that dealership, not just the one that was involved in this crash here. We're live in Sterling Heights, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today.